。少数族裔媒体服务中心 EMS 喺上星期五举行咗一场同校园欺凌有关嘅网上研讨会，讨论有关校园暴力点样喺社会入边滋生仇恨文化。出席会议嘅包括民权专家、社区青年司法工作者、作家同埋社区领袖等。California and federal law very clearly require that schools provide all students with a safe, supportive, and inclusive learning environment, free from discrimination and harassment. 加州拥有全国最多元化嘅青年人口，校园欺凌几乎已经系唔可以避免嘅一部分。除此之外，网络霸凌亦都需要大家加以关注。Three. And four American young people, ages 15 to 25, have run into extremist content online, and about half of that extremist content focuses on race or ethnicity. 一啲极端主义团体专门针对青少年，佢哋频道嘅影片可能会以幽默嘅形式呈现，青少年好容易忽视咗当中嘅危险信息而继续睇落去。随住网络演算法为佢哋提供越嚟越多嘅极端主义内容嘅时候，就会潜移默化咁样影响住佢哋嘅内心，甚至变得更加激进。Our mission is to、um, advocate for Asian American youth, and we believe that we can make a difference by taking small actions in our communities. And some of our main goals are to advocate for inclusive education, promote safer and healthier communities. 好多青少年同时饰演住加害者同埋受害者两种角色。而某啲欺凌系属于仇恨行为，当中带嚟对身体又或者系精神伤害嘅影响，可能会持续数十年又或者以上。天下卫视记者王静采访报道。